All right, guys, we've got a really huge day today. I hope you're having a fantastic day. We've got some meetings to do, so I'll take you along. Hold on. No, that doesn't look right. How am I supposed to show up at a meeting just like this? Uh-uh, no way. Much better. Nice. Wait. There's one more thing. Bam. Now we're ready to go. Yesterday was a sunny day. As you can see, today it's not not so sunny. But I got a. Uh, I'm gonna talk to you, huh? I'm gonna talk to you. Shh. Wow. I know. What's good in the hood, man? All right, just relax, relax, relax. Sit, sit, sit. Good boy, sit. Yeah, sit. Good boy. So it was sunny yesterday, and I was making my foray onto the freeway. It's big old construction trucks just driving around. It's going pretty quickly. I mean, even though it was in lane one, that's the lane closest to the exits. I was in lane one, two, three. I think three. Yeah, there's only like three lanes. So I was in lane three. All right, so the outermost lane. And out of nowhere, I saw this massive, just humongous, it's like fist-sized piece of debris. It looked like a rock and it was spinning quickly. And then it just flew up in the air and I said, oh, well, here it comes. Uh, I figured it would, you know, dent the hood or hit the paint or something. Nope, went straight for the windshield. So as luck would have it, that's what you see there. Things like that can ruin, yeah, it can ruin your day, you know, for sure. But, uh, you know, choose not to let it ruin your day. So that's what we're doing today, right? We're gonna go figure out which compound or which, uh, <laughs> It's a resin. I think it's an epoxy resin. It's a really runny one. Um, I think it's epoxy. I think. I have to check. But it's a type of resin that cures in UV light. And uh, I know, I know. You want to talk too, huh? Yeah. It's like, no, I want to be on camera. <laughs> but if you guys can see, yep. Uh, beautiful clouds. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful clouds. Gorgeous. Pacific Northwest weather. And yes, you do still get UV light. Uh, it's diffused through the clouds, uh, through the cloud cover, but it is pretty thick. So this is very typical, very characteristic uh, of the weather here. I prefer to drive in, in the cloud cover. Right, because it, it, again, it diffuses the light. If you've ever been under studio lighting, studio lighting's nice, right? It's got the nice big diffuser box. It's got uh, reflectors. It's got, um, what are those patterns called? Yeah, diffusers and reflectors are the big ones. Right, they're, they're nice. It's, it's like, you know, really even, it's brighter than mood lighting, but it's really even lighting. And then you contrast that with, <laughs> pun intended contrast. You contrast that with like stage lighting, right? You ever been in stage lighting? It, it's like confession, it's harsh. It's really, really bright. Well, it needs to be. So. And that's because it's a large area, right? It's not a studio, it's not an enclosed area uh, in, in, by comparison. And so you've got a lot of subjects, you've got a lot of actors, you've got a lot of, of scenes and you've got a lot of, of backdrops. So yeah, you, you wouldn't want to light that up, right? So stage lighting is really harsh. So stage lighting is the sun, right? And studio lighting is a, a cloudy day. So I prefer a cloudy day, right? Because I can see the road better. Things, there, there aren't really, really sharp, high contrast situations where the sun's glaring in your eyeballs or it's, it's glaring somebody else. And, and it, to me, becomes a safety hazard. Because you gotta remember, up here in the Pacific Northwest, don't quote me on this, yeah, 80, 75, 80 degrees latitude. Yeah, 
right? So those are the horizontal lines running on the globe. You know, we're pretty far up. So the sun angle uh, also it gets higher up in the sky, right? So it's daily resting position in the summer is right at about 45, 40, 45, 50 degrees. You know, again, don't quote me on this stuff. You know, I can look it up. I can calculate it for you, but nah, it's not that interesting. <laughs> All I'm saying is it's in your eyeball. So I prefer it being cloudy because then, you know, everything's lit up with diffuse lighting uh, and then there's no sharp, uh, sharp hops, uh, sharp hot spots. So anyway, just a thought. But uh, in addition to the other things, I'll have to get some, some windshield resin and then we'll see how this weather goes. We should be okay, but that may have to park it in the garage. We're just fine too. By the way, what a dirty car, huh? <laughs> All right, well, we'll, we'll go um, we're on our way. It's a little bit more pricey than what it's listed for, which is 10 bucks. Um, it's actually $12, but this is a popular one. It comes with a pedestal that mounts to the windshield. Pedestal, pedestal, pedestal. Does come with, does it come with a wipe? I don't know. Well, I better not chance it. So what I'm gonna do is make sure that I have yeah, so that's the resin, that's the injector, that's the pedestal. So I'm gonna make sure that I've got some, some alcohol wipes to clean up the, the windshield. But yeah, to be continued. All right, so collected a lot of footage and hopefully lots of great scenes. Today's the day because we finally have some sun. <laughs> Yeah, we still got this to do, remember? The windshield repair, Wind, windshield repair. So it's been two days, um, we finally got some sun out. Check that guy out. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Minus the rock chip, of course. Yeah, rock chip, not great. Not great, so we gotta clean this baby. So let's do that. Oh, we'll shut it off and we'll clean this guy. All right, better do this quick before the sun fades away. switch the there you go now you should be able to see it so 10 minutes we're gonna let it bubble for 10 minutes it's supposed to suck all the air out and then the step after that we push the resin in so exciting times all right i'm gonna set you down right here because right now we've got meal time yay so manual seats i love manual seats infinite adjustability meal time what do we got there it is. Don't even need to cut it. Oh, this is for uh, for my new company. This is the uh, corporate handbook and the corporate papers. Yay! It's official. <laughs> it's official. How exciting! I didn't forget about that. It's there's been a lot going on, so uh, knew it was coming but I didn't need it uh, yet. So that's exciting. All right, this one I do need a key to cut it. Bam. Yeah, no, it doesn't show much. <laughs> oh no. GoPro windshield mount, extension arm. We're rolling guys, we're rolling. It's notched, I like that. That's good, that is really good. Make sure the windows are squeaky clean and we're off to the races. Yeah, hopefully, I'll make for better videos too because I really love the perspective of that camera and I love the audio. Like, gosh. Um, 
holding it while driving, three pedals, the shift lever, or scissor hands. Oh, bananas. Wind's blowing. Uh, not the most genius thing to do, guys. Pretty solid now. All joint on top. Octopi legs. Seems pretty good. What do you think? What is going on? What's up? There it is. Good morning, guys. So, where are we? We are in Excel Vapor. All right. The best shop in Washington. With a bunch of flavors, more than 350 flavors. Hundreds of Mars fans and uh, pretty friendly employees. That's absolutely true. Uh, I've been coming here for a long time. Um, they've been here a long time too, but I've been here at least two years. You guys support your local businesses. So, when I, I mean, I came here for a couple of uh, cartridges, cartomizers, tanks. I've got a couple of tanks. Oh, um, and we'll talk about this later too. Right? He's the guy, YouTube guy. <laughs> you should film him. <laughs> That's pretty good tricks too. Do you got a, you got a channel too? Uh, I don't have a channel yet, but I'm, I'm the XL. Representative yeah. for social media. All right, he's gonna show you some tricks. I'm, I'm, sure sure cool I'm Danny. Danny, what's going on, brother? That's what I'm Let's make it happen. All right, watch this guy.